Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to have a look at the Japanese Meteorological Agency Long Range Model for today's uh, first video. We're going to go three months out through November, December and January and uh, see what the JMA is forecasting for the next uh, three months. This is ahead of Saturday's second winter 2019-2020 season model roundup where we will get something like 12 or 13 long range models together and see what we're all showing uh, for the winter of 2019-2020. Um, and uh, the Germany will form, form part of that update, of course, as it always does. But because we've got all of those other long-range models to look at, we won't have time to go in-depth into the JMA and uh, see all of the data that we can get from this model, because you can't get quite a lot of data from the JMA uh, season model. Uh, so we always like to isolate this one out, take it out on its own in its own terms, and have a look at what it's showing uh, in depth. So that's what we're doing for today's uh, first video. Um, coming up later this afternoon, we're going to have your regular week 10 day video update, including all of the usual features. Right, so let's start off it then. I'm going to begin with the 500 millibar height anomaly for November. So just one month away, if anything working correctly, this should be the most reliable part of the uh, update. Looking at the North Pole view down. So, of course, that's the North Pole of the North Hemisphere just there. Uh, mid latitudes uh, around here. Um, yellow, orange and red are extrapolating to above average heights which is uh, high pressure and blue to low pressure. So for November, uh, it looks like the JMA is quite unsettled with an area of below average height sitting out to the west of us. It does have a bit of a blocking signal to the north and going up towards Svalbard, but that's not really bringing anything cold uh, to us. We're in this sort of westerly um, type flow, bring the jet stream in like that. There's high pressure from the Azores as well through the middle of the Atlantic going towards Spain and Portugal. And so for November, that looks a rather Atlantic-driven month, rather wet and windy there, uh, I would have thought. Then we go through to uh, December. So this is how the Germany is looking for December 2019. And uh, again, unsettled really. We've got below average heights towards Greenland and Iceland, above average heights down towards the Azores. It does also have a ridge uh, of high pressure across central parts of Europe. And so we bring the wind in from the Atlantic this, but then pushing the jet stream northwards. So this could still be quite unsettled, particularly the northern and western parts of the country. The main thing though is that it could be a very, very mild month indeed. This could be uh, a really mild um, December, the way the low pressure around Greenland and Iceland is aligned with this ridge across central parts of Europe. That could pull up uh, really quite um, mild uh, or even warm southwesterly winds, long fetch southwesterlies, something like that, I would have thought, in uh, December. So a very mild December could be on the way. And then we go through to January, and it met, remains very Atlantic-driven. This, of course, has been the scene with a lot of the long-range models over this month when we'll be looking at them individually. And we will confirm this, of course, on Saturday with the second uh, season one roundup for winter 2019-2020. We'll get all of those right across together, and we'll be able to see what the true trend is. But to me, it seems like it's been a very Atlantic-driven uh, trend within these long range models and for the winter. And this continues into January with the JMA as well. Deep low pressure to the north of us around Greenland and Iceland. Strong area of high pressure from the Azores going into Spain. Strong westerly winds speeding across the Atlantic. Probably not quite as mild as it is in December because things are aligned more traditionally, which is west to east. Uh, but nevertheless, it's still Atlantic driven, so mild, wet, windy, potentially stormy in uh, northern areas in particular in January. Let's have a look at the tropical and mid latitude view then. So uh, this is 500 millibar height anomaly for November. First of all, the UK in the top right hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it. A reminder of that uh, anomaly in November with below average heights out to the northwest of us, above average heights down to our southwest and feeding in uh, west winds. We have got some high pressure up here. We can't see the, pol the polar region and sort of northern Scandinavia, but we know we've got some high pressure up there, but it's not enough on the model forecast to be able to fend off these westerly winds and this Atlantic onslaught. 
So if we go down to the temperature anomaly, that is coming out mild of an average with BJMA during uh, November. Above average temperatures are being forecast there, albeit not a particularly big deviation, but it is a mild of an average month. And precipitation-wise, it's wetter than average, so a milder but also wetter than average November being forecast here by VJMA uh, this month. And in terms of the mean wind direction, the reason it's a mild and wet, windy month is that we're bringing in westerly winds. So these black arrows are always a little bit difficult to make out, but you can perhaps see that the wind is coming sort of due west here from the Atlantic into the UK. And so we're just expecting a very, very unsettled Atlantic driven zonal wet, potentially maybe even stormy month if the JMA is correct there. Then we go through to December. Now in December, the low pressure tends to be pushing a little bit to the northwest. So again, we can't see Greenland and Iceland. It's off the chart up here, but we know we've got lots of low pressure in, in that sort of area ridge of high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic, but also a ridge over here across central parts of Europe to the east of Europe. And so the squeeze between the low pressure to the northwest, the high pressure to the southwest, and then the high pressure to the southeast of us, or the east of us, could bring up some very mild, even quite warm, long fetched southwest winds, I think, in uh, December. It's not going exceptionally mild with the temperature anomaly, it just has us a little bit above average. I still think there is very mild potential there, though, based on the 500 millibar height anomaly. And although the low pressure is sort of pushed off up towards Greenland and Iceland a little bit in the 500 millibar flow, it's still a wet of an average month. So um, it remains uh, above average with rainfall and slightly above average with temperature. The wind direction is still coming westerly. Uh, so, again, black arrow, arrows are difficult to make out, but we do have those west winds feeding across the Atlantic. And with this high just here, I think there could well be uh, a southwesterly component to those west winds. So, I really do think December could have very mild potential here based on what the JMA is showing there. And then finally, we go through to January, which continues this Atlantic onslaught tight winter uh so again below average heights this time closer to us uh to our northwest deep low pressure to the north a strong ridge from the azores into southern europe strong westerly flow zonal flow coming across the atlantic above average heights through much of central and eastern europe as well it all looks like it's setting up for an exceptionally mild but also exceptionally wet winter the temperature anomaly continues to be slightly above average. It's not going for an exceptionally mild uh, winter, but then you have to interpret these models. And although the model itself is not going for an exceptionally mild winter, based on the mean wind direction and everything else, I think this would be a very, very mild first half of winter anyway, certainly December and probably January, although January... I wouldn't have thought it's quite as mild as December, but in so would have above average temperatures. Rainfall is above average as well, as significantly wetter than average. January being forecast to go along with the above average rain during November and December too. And the wind direction just tilts a little bit more sort of west northwest here. Again, the black arrow is very difficult to make out, but I think there's just a little bit more of a northwesterly tilt. To the, to the wind direction uh, there, which could allow for a little bit of cold zonality, maybe some wintry conditions over high ground up in the north, good for the Scottish ski resorts, where you're going to get plastered with snow in cold zonality. Uh, but for many of the, many people down in the south, uh, it would just be going from sort of warm rain in um, December to cold rain in uh, January, to be honest. So there we go. That's what JMA is forecasting uh, for um, November, December, January. It doesn't cover the full winter period yet. Next month, we will have the, that full winter period for December, January, February. So maybe something colder will happen in February. We'll see. Or maybe the model will flip on the earlier winter months uh, next month. Who knows? But certainly this month, the JMA is definitely going for... Atlantic-driven, low-pressure-dominated, strong westerlies, and um, 
you know, just sort of really wet, windy, unsettled conditions all three months to November, December, January are coming out with above average rainfall. It looks like an Atlantic onslaught is being forecast by the GMA. And I think it's in line with a lot of the long range model output uh, this month. And we'll confirm that on Saturday, Saturday morning. 10 a.m. will do the second season one roundup. This JMA update will form part of that. We get all of the other long range models together as well. We'll see what they're all showing um, for the winter. And I suspect we will be confirming most of those models are pointing towards uh, an Atlantic winter. But we'll see. We'll confirm that on Saturday. Right, that's it for your first video for today. We'll be back later on this afternoon with your week to 10 day video update, including all of the regular features. Uh, tomorrow it's Jeremy Friday, of course, month end looking with the Japanese. Uh, so uh, that'll be with you tomorrow. But uh, later this afternoon, it is the week 10 day video update. Come back for that then. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.